Anyone? Yeah, you should come by. Yeah, all right, call me later. You're looking at sense. Tuesday, right? You never see your drones in strip clubs. Shit, fine then. Where you at, Mr. Revolutionary? What? The smoke in. I'm at City Hall. I'm the only fool here. Uh, uh, 
Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'll be right there. I, uh, uh, I didn't forget I was busy. Yeah, busy, that's it. <laughs> Fight the power. Flaky motherfucker, I should have known. Hello? Slick! Oh, you must be Michael's boy! Ugh. Oh, man! Sometimes enlightenment, it can be a real bitch. Ugh. Good to meet you. Yeah, likewise, homie. We hear you're a competent repo guy, yes? Yes, it's kind of like a little hobby of mine, requisitioning the underappreciated possessions of my contemporaries for some wealthy communists in China who will value them much more. <laughs> what? Robbing my so-called friends, Slick. Why? Why? Because they have things nobody else has, because they can afford it, because frankly, I'm rich enough to do whatever the fuck I want, and you're poor enough not to ask me any goddamn stupid questions. Now, I mean that as a friend. Namaste. That's a nice fucking speech about the value of friendship. Oh, of course you must be the creepy one. That's coming from you? Please. Mmm. What's going on? You're gonna dress up as traffic cops, and you're gonna rob two trust fund kids that I know and dislike intensely. Uh, why? We can get a good price for the vehicles in Asia. Look, complete the work, you'll all be well paid. You're late, sugar tits. Yep. So what's going on? Oh, 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 oh. you finally get to realize your childhood dream and dress up as a cop. Mr. Weston's research team suggests the two boys like to ride on the Sonora Freeway. Sounds manageable. Hey. You two get going. Ooh, let's go, T. Dog, I don't know if this shit is for me, homie. My life's already way the fuck out of control. All right, look. I'm a Darwinist brother, all right? Some prosper and some struggle. Now, are you out of your goddamn mind? This is your lucky break. Choose. Now, are you going to do this, or have you simply found your level in life? I guess we'll find out. Yeah, I guess we will, homie.
Hey, Frank. Hey, I'm nearly with these dudes, man. You guys comfortable on your end? Yeah, I guess. We look pretty ridiculous. <laughs> All right, man. Look, I'll see you soon. Yeah. We'll pick you up coming through Grape Seed. Get the drivers there and get them going at speed. you 2.7 millimeters Who the fuck hey, how seven? about we see which one of you two is for real so get in your cars and let's see if they move as fast as your mom Ooh, the fool wants to race us we were just getting out of here anyway all right Coming up now, man. Beat it in a few seconds. Got it. Whatever. Here they come. Well, I'll tell you about that later. They're too far ahead. We gotta catch up to them if we want them to stop. This one's on the wrong side of the road. I'll stay on him. Now come if you can handle it. Stop 
Stay on them, T. They'll stop eventually. Am I gaming on them, or is that my imagination? Our patience will be rewarded. Stay with them. We gotta hang in there. The oil driven around the whole of southern San Andreas before they stop. Frank's at the back. I think they want him to stop and take the booking. You know how fast you were going? Gee, I don't know, officer. I, uh, try to keep it under the limit. Well, you and your boys looked like you were drag racing from where we were sitting there, so, uh, why don't you get yourself out of the car? Come on. Officer. Officer. Is this officer. entirely necessary? Yes, it is. Get on. Come on. Hands on the car. Let's go. Come on. Get out of the fucking car! Hey! Hey, hey, hey! What are you doing? Fucking car. All right, we gotta make sure. Get out of the fucking car, you pint-sized prick! You, you little shit! Get the fuck out of here! Go on! Man, I'm sick of driving so slow staying with these fools. Can we have a real race? Oh, you talk a good game. Okay, just don't scratch the cars. Devin's lonely lawyer says go to Hayes Auto in South LS, so that's where I'll be waiting. We'll see about that. Look out! I'm passing! Hey, Frank. Yeah, what did I tell you, bro? These cars. <laughs> So, you know what, right before I met you, I was boosting rides and racing them. It feels like it come full circle to me. Come on. No, I'm serious. If you hadn't got me fired from my repo job, this is exactly the kind of shit I'd be doing. So thanks, dawg. After all the crap we've been through, man, you got me right back where I'll be at anyway. <laughs> if I can keep this lead, I'll be able to get some alone time with Devin's lady friend. Excuse me, my car! What you were to me. 
I see your house. I think this dude can take me places. Yeah, maybe. Something like that. What's your angle, Mike? What do you mean? Like, how am I gonna beat your ass in this race? Don't worry, I'm taking care of that. I mean, is it just the smell of green? Or is there some other thing with this guy and you? <laughs> you know, it feels funky. Hey, I'm just trying to do what's best for Frank. You know, help him make the best of the chances he's given. Hey, if it's about the girl, I saw her first. Don't get too creepy, all right? She's a professional woman who's doing her job. And leave it at that. No sexual harassment in the workplace, T. Not all. My watch. I'm serious. Both of you. Back off her. Gentlemen, I love you all. Oh, God, this is going to be fantastic. One kid and two old creeps. Who the fuck would have thought it? Gentlemen, move the vehicles. Hey, give me five, five, and five. Oh, hey, chest kiss, homie. Boom. Dog, come on, man. You got the fucking paper? Absolutely. Look, you finish the job, you get the paper. But the order was for five cars. If I'm not mistaken, that's only two. Just give me the... Fucking money now! Oh, I'm so scared. I really, really am. But you know what? I'm a payment on completion of work type of guy. You don't like the job? Take a fucking walk. Hey, come on, man. Hold on. So what's next, man? Well, it's the Z-type. Chad Mulligan. Lay it on him, kid. Mulligan's a record producer. He's going through a messy divorce. He's hiding his valuable assets, including the car, so that makes it complicated. He'll clock any ground surveillance we run. All we've got to go on is that the car's in a lockup in Howick. So we just go house to house? Not quite. We have access to an LSPD helicopter. The computer on board can ID pedestrians from a chip in their driver's license. Find Mulligan and Howick, follow him to the lockup, someone on the ground collects the car. All right, so who does what? You're not needed for this job. Phillips, you're in the chopper. Clinton, you're on the ground. Yeah, uh, I don't understand the deal between you two. Yeah, well, I don't understand the deal between you two either. But you know what? Life is just one long mystery. Bye bye gentlemen, and stay spiritual. Oh, and Michael, I'll be in touch about your friend, Solomon. All right, good.
offshore banking motherfucking gas prices. How you like someone say boo you? Only a sucker drop all them bills on a gallon of gas. And a sucker I Hi, I'd like to order a cab, please. No problem. I'll have one there in a Do couple of minutes. Sounds good, thanks. Hey. Where do you want to go? Rockford Hills. Sure thing, man. This is the spot, right? Anyone? Hello, Dr. Isaiah Friedlander speaking. Hey, Doc, it's me. Michael, how are you? Not good, Doc. Not good at all. Well, we spent a lot of time over the years discussing how negative actions lead to negative thoughts as much as the reverse. Because of the compounding of your classical low self-esteem with your assorted sexual hang-ups, the desperate search for the easy answer in life, and your profound narcissism, reality will have a habit of handing you a repeated kicking. Anyway, what's up? Well, Doc, when you put it like that, I'm afraid I ain't got much hope. Have you been acting out again, Michael? I've, I've been a mixed bag, Doc. Tell me about the problem behaviors. <sighs> okay, well, look, things are... I gotta tell you, Doc, they're awful. I'm making bad decisions here, and other people are picking up the tab for it. My family left me. They won't even take my phone calls, but... But I did meet this guy, Solomon Richards. You might have heard of him. Richards Majestic? Yeah, we're doing some work together. <laughs> In the movies. Can you fucking believe that? I'm a movie producer. Well, I'm glad to hear things are looking up. But you shouldn't look for validation outside of yourself. Validation isn't a label. It comes from within. Any other violent outburst, Michael? I've been out of control, Doc. I think I got, you know, an imbalance or something. You know I mean? One minute I'm one person, and the next minute I'm another person. And you sometimes feel you're not responsible for your actions. It's all denial. There's a part of me, Doc, I just can't seem to control. Hmm. What about your sexual problems, Michael? Well, you know, I've, I've been a good boy in that regard. I'm making real progress, Doc. 
We are making progress, Michael. You're finally listening to me. Great. Ever since I pulled that house apart, Doc, I ain't been myself. Not at all. You know, therapy can really help you, Michael, which is why you should be really pleased with what you're doing. But I'm gonna have to stop you there. Oh, and there is one thing. Phone sessions are a little more expensive, obviously. Obviously. But so fulfilling. Let's speak again soon. Thank you. 